this first question is from Hip Conditions and Preservation Module Exam, question number 39. This question deals with a 22-year-old ballet dancer who undergoes hip arthroscopy for hip pain and popping. She had a good result with that operative treatment, uh, and that relieved her symptoms uh, primarily. The, the question asks about the preoperative physical exam. They, they give us an MR pre and post-op. On the MR, you can see on the left panel, that's a preoperative MRI showing continuity of the psoas tendon across the anterior hip. On your right side, you can see discontinuity of the psoas tendon as it traverses the anterior aspect of the, the right hip. They then ask the physical exam question about the preoperative examination. And the correct answer is a test where we bring the hip into flexion, abduction, external rotation and then the hip is extended and internally rotated, rotated. For internal snapping hip, that should elicit pain in the groin as well as reproduce the patient's snapping. The internal snapping hip represents the psoas tendon gliding over the femoral head, iliopectineal eminence, or other structures to the ant about the anterior hip. So given this question, we'll review the topic of snapping hip. This is a condition uh, in which uh, the patient presents with a snapping sensation about the hip. There are three types of snapping hip, and that includes external snapping hip, which is rubbing of the IT band over the lateral aspect of the greater trochanter. Internal snapping hip is where, again, we have snapping of the iliopsoas as it <clears throat> rubs over the structures of the anterior hip joint. And then finally, we have intraarticular snapping in which intraarticular structures, usually a label tear, chondral flap, or loose body, produce intraarticular snapping. In terms of uh, symptoms, the patients present with a snapping sensation. Most of the time, it's, it's uh, associated with discomfort. They can also have a sensation of clicking or locking about the hip. In terms of the examination, an external snapping hip, the patient can usually voluntarily reproduce, and it's visible across the examining room. Internal snapping hip can be elicited on physical exam, as we previously discussed. Tightness of the tensor fascia lata is common in external snapping hip, and that can be diagnosed by Ober's test, which tests passive adduction of the hip in extension. So with a tight IT band, will have restricted adduction due to the tight IT band with Ober's test. Internal snapping hip, as we discussed with the case example, can be elicited by passive flexion, external rotation, and abduction, and then bringing the extremity into a neutral, extended, and slightly internal rotated position. In terms of imaging, a standard radiographic examination of the hip um, is required to rule out other sources of hip pathology. Ultrasound is a dynamic examination or study that can demonstrate both internal snapping as well as external snapping hip pathology. Iliopsoas bursography can be diagnose, diagnostic for internal snapping hip as well as the ultrasound examination. In terms of treatment, non-operative treatment is appropriate for these patients upon initial presentation, and that can include activity modification, certainly activities that exacerbate the problem. Physical therapy, injections, and anti-inflammatories can also be used for symptomatic relief. In terms of operative treatment, if the patient fails non-surgical measures, we can consider optim op operative treatment. For an external snapping hip, that would include excision of the trochanteric bursa and a Z-plasty of the IT band. For internal snapping hip, we would consider iliopsoas tendon lengthening or release. Uh, currently, that's primarily done with arthroscopic techniques. And then with intraarticular snapping, uh, we would consider hip arthroscopy to treat the uh, associated intraarticular pathologies which most commonly include labral problems, articular cartilage flaps, or loose bodies. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.